I'm Melanie Dyer. You're watching Live on the Lot on Skippy TV. And I'm truly honoured to be sitting here today with country singer-songwriter Graham Connors. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Melanie. It's also an honour to be here with you. Well, it's great to have you here, Live on the Lot. We've got a lot to talk about. Um, you have a brand new album I coming do. out very soon. And you just performed the first single to lift off the album, one Life. One Life, that's it. But you know, it. I think you need to change the title because it seems you've lived a thousand <laughs> lives. <laughs> well, um, there are days when one looks back at one's career and, oh, there was that moment in which I was, say, opening the show for various artists and there was that moment when you had your first success and you took your own band out on the road and then there was that time where it's like like everything in, in, in a career, you it's waves. So mm -hmm. you... You're at the top of the wave for a period and then you're down the bottom of the wave and then you come back to the top again if you're lucky. And so you have all these sort of movements and they all compartmentalise for me about the Graham Connor story. Mm -hmm. And that sort of all combines to be one crazy life. <laughs> it, it is great. And, I mean, the song obviously has got a sort of certain light-heartedness about it mm. as much as it is the truth. Yeah. You know, uh, this is my, I think, 19th CD. And, Amazing. Uh, well, there's a lot of songs. It's a lot. I, yeah, yeah, but I don't think of it in those words. To me, it's a bit of a continuum where I'm just, uh, I get up in the morning and I write. Yeah. Um, uh, there has been a spell, though, in terms of my last fully original album, was uh, The Speed of Life back in about 2011, 2012. In between, we've done a, a covers album called uh, Kindred Spirit where I, I recorded a batch of songs by other Australian songwriters that, that I'm very, who I'm very fond of. Mm -hmm. Then we did my album, North, celebrated 25 years. So we did a remix, remaster and re As you do, 25 bit. years. Well, so you should. That's right. I made a little <laughs> facelift. <laughs> and you also did the 60 Summers. 60 Summers was a, another one that came in there. Plus a, when 60 Summers um, and, and the North Project sort of were, were both – organising my back catalogue mm -hmm. and we did a, a double live DVD as well um, and 60 Summers was a two CD set that encompassed a couple of new songs or four new songs in fact yeah. but really was an attempt to sort of like get a, a picture from my very beginnings in 1974 yeah. when I must have been two years old. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. <laughs> sure. From the 74 right through, um, that was my first album, right through to um, the the latter period. So and this guess, album is all brand new though, so yeah. it's great. Yeah. Well, exactly. We're here for the new album. And I want to speak about, again, One Life. You've got this specific lyric in there that I discovered. You say, things I've done say more about me than anything I've said. Mm -hmm. And I beg to differ, though, because while you have done a lot and you've achieved a lot, it's actually the stories through your music and lyrics that actually got you to those milestones. So I Well, feel you like, dug in on that one. That's right. Yeah, I, I like to dig deep. And, and, you know, some of those milestones are things like 14 golden guitars uh -huh. for you that you've achieved. That's incredible. Like, where do you put them all? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we put it this way. I find awards, uh, they're, so, they're so wonderful, mm -hmm. um, however, they stare you down after a period of time. You've got to be real careful, you know okay. what I mean? If you've got, you know, like an aria up there and 14 golden guitars and then some gold records and platinum records, you're in your studio going, will I ever do as well as that again? Right. So what I have a tendency to do is... So there's a sense of Let them of face the wall. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we actually have a stand for all the golden guitars and my grandchildren come in and it's like, can we pick up one of those golden guitars, Granddad? Aww. So they, they do that. And That's so special. Uh, so they're kept – well, they, they're, they, they're absolutely fabulous, but I do find I cannot have them – in full view all the time. It's, <laughs> it, I, it ends up this whole question of like, yeah. will you ever be as good oh, as the you pressure. once were? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're better. You're getting better and better, of course. Good on you, Melanie. <laughs> and on top of, you know, those golden guitars and speaking of accolades, in 2016 you were inducted into the role of renown. That's right. Um, for Australian, the Australian Country Music Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. um, so not only do you have those, you know, golden guitars on the mantelpiece, but... 
your name and legacy is engraved into the, the granite boulders, boulders oh, that's forever. Right, yeah. <laughs> Try and move them. <laughs> I know. You can't, you know, turn those the other way. No, you cannot. Too heavy. <laughs> it was a real honour. It was very emotional, in fact, um, it, because once again, as a creative artist, in a lot of ways, you're fulfilling your own needs to, to receive accolades um, sometimes feels like uh, a little under false pretenses. Don't get me wrong, because it's like you are selfishly growing and pushing yourself to do things. And when mm. people come along and say, that is fantastic, it means so much to me, it's sort of humbling. Mm -hmm. And so you have to have, there's this balance here. And, and I know on the night, um, thank goodness my wife joined me uh, 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 up there on the, on the podium mm. and she was able to sort of go, um, you haven't mentioned, you haven't mentioned. <laughs> so yeah. It was great. You always need a strong, you know, woman by your side to remind you of these things. Well, but I wonder where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> it's great that you've got Lynn, though, there by your side. And, uh, and I understand she actually was there, you know, from the beginning playing <laughs> also in a band, some keys. Yeah, yeah, she played the organ in the band. Does and, she feature and, uh, on the new album? Uh, uh, well, no. She's, <laughs> she's taken a back role. <laughs> so it's, um, we've had a musical relationship from, mm. from, uh, from childhood and, uh, and that is, uh, that is a, a great joy because she understands a lot of the processes and has always been there with the touring and all the other things. And, you know, we have five fabulous sons and now wives, partners, Amazing. grandchildren. It's yeah. this big snowball that happens. And, and they all know the business and they, they know the highs and lows and, mm. and all those sort of things. And they know, they know people with Indian, in the industry um, who they can uh, consider friends and things yeah. like that. So it's good. And, you know, some friends of, of, of yours are very special people that unfortunately we've lost, like Slim Dusty, who's there beside you as well in, in the Hall of Fame. Yes, Slim. How I wrote 13 songs for Slim and I loved writing every single one of them for him. He'd, uh, he was a man who knew who he was and what he stood for. Mm. And there were, uh, it was very simple when you're writing a song for Slim. He, he loved Australian stories and he loved Australian characters. And not for him, the sort of sitting at the bar, um, thinking about cheating on my wife, you know what I mean? Like, which yeah. is the country music sort of standard stuff. He didn't, that didn't work for him. It, it was more about you know, the, the stories on the other side of the Great Divide. Yeah. So uh, from We've Done Us Proud through to Star Trucker to, you know, I'm Married to My Bulldog Mac, there were songs that uh, were a great joy, and I was a lot of the time I was laughing while I'm writing them, sort of going, "Slim's <laughs> going to like this line." You know? so, <laughs> it no, sounds like a really special uh, friendship. Well, you know, it wasn't as if we saw each other uh, regularly, and and uh, and but at the end of the day, there was a mutual respect, yeah. and uh, it was it was one of the lovely points of my songwriting career, yeah. and uh, that alongside of you know the late John English, um, Mike Wade, and I co-written a couple of songs that John had recorded and I toured with John and he was just an amazing energy like you wouldn't believe. Mm. And now Phil, Phil Emanuel, um, you know, uh, recent passing. It's sad. We've lost a lot of greats. They're greats and, uh, but they live on in their music and that's the, that's the thing that we've, we've, uh, we've can be thankful for. Exactly. The recording process is a wonderful thing because it captures those moments and it captures a person's life at all the various phases. So, you know, the sadness is tinged with this great joy mm. that it's like, well, I can always, I can always access their spirit exactly. in their music. It's like music is sort of like a time capsule, isn't it? Oh, you very sort much. Of freeze, freeze these moments and you can just go yep. back and listen to a record and, and be there in that story well, again and they're alive again, you know? You are. It, the, the moment is there and it's like, um, you know, I have this song of mine called Sacred Place where it opens up. I believe we leave a little of ourselves behind and all we say and all we do we echo on through time. And mm, that's, that's, exactly that's exactly how it is. You know? mm. And as well as, um, you know, being Slim's great friend and, and being around these amazing people, you actually honoured him um, at his funeral, the state funeral. I was one of the thousands who watched it. Oh. And you led, you know, you led the hymn Amazing Grace. Uh, amazing Grace, Grace. yeah. It Imagine was, that would have been a very difficult... It was emotional. Very yeah. much. All these things are, but it was a great honour for the family, to, an honour for me to be invited to do that from mm. the family. And uh, and so, you know, recently that we're talking about Phil Emanuel, mm. and Tommy was there and he was performing 
and he said, you know, I have to treat this like a gig because if I was, if I treated it like my brother's uh, memorial, it would be too difficult to bear. And so yeah. as a consequence, you know, that's the same state of mind a performer takes mm -hmm. in these highly emotional environments. I think it's like, this is what I do. Yeah. I sing and I sing for those who aren't singing. So, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a greater thing than just for yourself in yeah, those kind of moments. Of course it is, absolutely. Oh, gosh, well, it's been seven years uh, <laughs> since you've, you know, recorded new songs. Yeah. So I assume you've got a lot of words to learn yeah, <laughs> before I, you hit the I, road. I have. It's really funny because this album was a bit different. You know, I worked with Matt Fell, who I've worked with on many He's amazing. Occasions. He, he is, is so good. He's a great musical talent and mm. a fantastic guy to work with as a producer or co, you know, co-worker. And, and a new father as well. Yes, exactly new right. Bub. Congratulations, yeah. Hank. Yes, isn't that so I wonder so where cute. that came from. So country. <laughs> Take these chains from my heart. That's Hank probably Williams. his little um, lullaby. That, <laughs> That's that, that could be gets. it too. Yeah, no. So we, it was <laughs> it was great. It was uh, we. I turned up at the studio with a lot of the lyrics all finished, mm -hmm. but a lot of the melodic melodic work we did together in terms of that. Um, I mean, I had the melody, but what happens after that? Point was very collaborative and so as a consequence some of the songs do feel very fresh and new to me. Yeah, I know. It's like learning a whole new show. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you are actually hitting the road. Yes, uh, we are. For some, some tour dates with mm -hmm. the new album. Coming um, down to the end of the year, we've got some dates in Queensland, Mackay. Yes. And, Mackay, your hometown. Uh, hometown is where we're going to launch the album. Yeah, and nice. We've got Toowoomba and Townsville and then we head down the eastern seaboard places like Lismore and Newcastle and uh, Wulgulga is on there, out west to Dubbo's and... And, you know, it's you know the surf. Here, there and everywhere, yeah. all down the, the East Coast. And a boat cruise in the meantime. Oh, really? Yeah, we go out to the Pacific uh, in October. Is that a, cruising country? Cruising yes. country. And a fabulous festival up at Gregory Downs called the, the uh, I'm going to say Pioneer, but it's the wrong, <laughs> the Frontier, the, 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 uh, the Frontier Days. Uh, Look it up on the website. Look it's it up fabulous. on the website. So I'm guessing it's grahamconnors.com. Uh, look at grahamconnors.com. Easy. Check it out. <laughs> Facebook, everything. It's everything. all up there. Yes, and we're right up in there. <laughs> <laughs> do you update your Instagram? Do you uh, do all your have, Insta savvy? I have a, a wonderful person who takes care of that for me and uh, she keeps me alert the whole time if individual personal messages come through. Yeah. But I'm... You know me as a songwriter. Everything is so particular. Yes. Every lyric counts. Well, any communication like that becomes I'm the letter writer <laughs> as opposed to the sort of like how many characters you get in a No, it's in a, a minimal Twitter. amount of characters. Yeah. Well, I'm you sort can't of like... condense Graham Connors well, I, well, <laughs> into I, a hashtag. I can, but it takes me hours to do it, you know, so what's the point? <laughs> no, focus on the music. Yeah, don't, just don't write the worry. songs and let, let uh, Twitter look after itself. <laughs> <laughs> let the young hipsters take over the Instagram. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for coming on thank the show you, today on Live on the Lot. Your brand new album is up for pre-order. It's called From the Back Country. You got it. And I'm looking forward to hearing it. We've heard One Life already, yep. the new single. Uh, everyone jump on to Graham Connors on his social media and, and get to a show. And Fabulous. Thank you so much for coming in today, Graham. Thank you, Melly, and thank you to the team for uh, Live on the Lot. It's fabulous to uh, be able to come and uh, see what you guys do, and you do a thank great you. job.